September 12th, 2024. Let's get into the numbers for the H2B report. Actually, nothing has changed since the September 5th numbers. If you look at the USCIS cap count, a new one hasn't re been released since September 3rd. So the number is still just at 28 and a half thousand, just over. And if we look at the number of petitions processed by DOL, that hasn't changed because they basically finished or almost finished most of the DL application, DOL applications with the start date of October 1st last week. We've talked about how the USCIS number of 28 and a half thousand doesn't quite match up with the DOL number of 35 and a half thousand because the DOL number counts uncapped petitions. The USCIS number only counts capped petitions. And so there's going to be a number of extensions in the October cycle, just like in the April cycle, which don't count towards the cap. So when do I expect a new cap number to be released? I actually think that the next cap number to be released could be the one that says that the cap has been met. Now, as of this, so this is Thursday. On Tuesday, I had some USCIS applications that just arrived at USCIS, and we did receive a receipt for those applications. The checks have been cashed. So at least as of Tuesday, on my personal experience, uh, applications were still being accepted. I still think there's a possibility this is the last week that new CAP petitions could be going in. But again, as we talked about last week, September 18th, September 18th is the very last day that's being predicted uh, by organizations in the know, like Seasonal Employer Alliance, uh, as being the last day uh, that petitions would be accepted for new workers with an October 1 start date. So what does this mean for you? Well, it might mean for you that if you still need workers who you're not extending, uh, who are going to be coming you know, newly into your company, that you're going to need to wait for the returning worker uh, allocation to be released. That's not going to happen before November 1st, it could, just because of the way that the budgetary uh, apparatus works in Washington, D.C. So they're going to be released as a, you know, as a part of kind of a released budget. And if it happened like last year, then we're going to get a chunk, probably around 20000 for of workers through March 30th. And we're going to get another 20000 from April 1st to September 30th of 2025. And we're going to get some additional workers from countries, which last year were Colombia, Ecuador, say it with me by this point, Costa Rica, Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Haiti, but say it with me, Haiti's not a great place to go right now because their country is in utter turmoil. Uh, despite the fact that the Springfield, Ohio cats and dogs story is, is crazy sauce and a painting of a people as being savage that goes back far, 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 far into history as a way that we've talked about those d different than us. Okay, but let me get off my soapbox. So uh, what we're looking at then is a... Uh, is a release of additional workers if you don't make it by September 18th. Uh, and of course, get your prevailing wages in if that's something that you're thinking about. I'm sending out an email to my clients probably today um, saying, hey, it's time to get those prevailing wages in. Because it's September 12th, you know, we've got about a good month to, to get it in here timely. So that's it, really, for this H2B report. So, you know, some people have asked, oh, you know, how do I, in the comments, uh, I guess you guys asked, you know, where do we file our I-129? Uh, you know, how do I come over as an H-2B worker? Those are all good questions. I'm probably not gonna answer them in the comments because there are so many different variations of what you being a potential H-2B worker in a poten potential country might mean, what it might mean for you to file an I-129 that I just don't feel comfortable answering in the comments because I don't wanna tell you the wrong thing and be liable for something that I can't control. So. Uh, if you want to talk to me, you can call the office, 919-827-0918. We're based in New Haven, Connecticut, but that's a North Carolina number because of how this company started way back in North Carolina. Um, you can also email us at info at fronterratech.com. If you call the number, you'll get automatically scheduled for an H2B meeting. I reserve the right to give you the meeting or not um, based on our back and forth in the emails because I'll often ask some follow-up questions. But this is the time to call and... Uh, if you do need H2B help for the next season, I am taking on clients. So thanks so much. That's the H2B report here. Nothing much has changed, but uh, at least on paper, but it could have changed in real life. We could hit the cap this week. We won't know until USCIS tells us. Thank you so much and have a great day.